I'll be starting off this DIY project with an empty box. I'm trying to recreate a uh, vase and I'm trying to see how I can do it the easiest way possible. This was actually a requested video and the lady who made the request said she doesn't know what to use to make the pretty vase that you see on my thumbnail. So I'm trying to see how I can make something out of a box that's going to be affordable and easy to make as well. All I'm doing here is using a sharp blade to make little straight cuts that's not going all the way through to make it easy to roll. Now that I have this, I'm going to be cutting out the exact shape that I want for the vase. I'll be using tape and hot glue to keep the shape that I'm going to be making in place. I'll be attaching a base at the bottom of what I've made and I'll be cutting it out from a foam board. This is not a perfect circle, so I'm gonna go ahead to make this look better so that I can have something that's gonna give what I've made a defined shape starting from the bottom. When I was making the second vase, I realized that it's easier to have the lines come out and meet in the middle. And this method is going to make it so much easier to get the shape that you want. The one I'm working on right now is a second vase and this is the bigger vase. So I'll be making a small vase and a larger vase. To give me the design that I want, I went ahead to get some plates and these are made out of palm leaves. They're not paper plates. They're so durable and really strong too as well. The link for this is going to be down in the description box below. These plates are really, really hard and sturdy. And the best part is it's not too deep, which would work for the design that I'm going for. My face is going to have circular patterns and not squares like you see in the photo that I showed you guys. Just so that mine would be a little bit different, but if you insist on the squares, the plates also come in squares. As you can see, I'm using hot glue to attach the plates to the cardboard. But if you like, you can use a stronger adhesive, but I didn't really bother about that because the hot glue for this particular project works just fine. At the bottom part here, I'm going to be cutting the plates down to size before attaching them to the cardboard. I did this for the bigger vase too as well. And this is what the small vase looks like. And here's the large vase beside it. I'm going to be cutting out something that's wide enough to cover up this part here that's rough that would serve as the lip of the vase. I'll be getting my shapes from a hard foam board because I'm going to be spray painting this. So I need the foam board to be hard and for it to stay intact after I'm done spray painting. After attaching these to the vases, they came out so pretty. I just had to put flowers on them and show you guys what they look like. Now, because the top was not spray painted, I'm just going to be making another one and filling up these openings here because that's what's going to change the entire look of the vase. And I'll be filling it up with caulk. You can cover up the holes with whatever you like that's going to stay in place. I decided to just use paper towel and cut them to little pieces and fill up the holes first before applying the caulk.
I used paper towel to fill in some of the gaps that I couldn't fill in when I was using the caulk gun. I then used a wet paper towel to smoothen everything all out. You can use foam soaked in water, but I didn't have that, so I just used a wet paper towel. This is the larger vase, and like I said, for the first one, I had to fill in all of the spaces with little pieces of paper towel so that I don't use too much caulk. After doing this with the caulk that I had, I thought I was gonna be okay with just one, but I ended up using four, which was still a lot. There is another cheaper alternative to caulk, and that is white cement. You can actually mix that and use it for this project. And you can still have a lot of leftover for another project. I bought a lot of these palm leaf plates to use in my home too as well. And I love the fact that for this particular project, they are perfect because with the water that I will use to smoothen out the caulk, the plates will not be damaged. After the vases have been made, before spray painting or using any kind of paint, you have to wait for 24 hours for the caulk to set properly. Like I said earlier, I don't have a foam for this, so I'm going to be using wet paper towel to smoothen it all out. I was going to spray paint this white, but then I decided to just go with silver because I will be adding it to the other accent pieces that I have that are in silver in my home. This is what both faces look like now. These faces look pretty with or without flowers. The vases I made are quite big, so I'm going to use a styrofoam to fill it up a bit. I still love the way the vases looked before they were spray painted. So I'm going to show you guys how I had the other one left and with the ones that I spray painted. So you guys can see what they all look like side by side. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.